Welcome to The Wrap. I'm Renita Young here to take you through today's market action. So let's take a look at where markets closed to end the entire week. The Dow set another record close on Friday and rallied close to 3% for the week. The S&P 500 gained around 2.5% for the week. The NASDAQ 100 added more than 3% this week, and the small cap Russell 2000 rallied more than 5.5% on the week. Now taking a look at the leading and lagging sectors on the week, 10 of the 11 S&P 500 sectors ended higher, with real estate up by the most more than 5%. Materials not far behind. Communication services was the sole sector to end in the red on a weekly basis. Looking at some stocks on the move, solar stocks were the biggest winners this week, with Solar Edge and Enphase Energy closing the week more than 20% higher on speculation that the Fed may cut rates next year. Jefferies is now also bullish on the stocks, initiating coverage of multiple solar stocks Friday, including a buy rating on First Solar, Enphase Energy, and Sunrun. Oracle was one of the biggest losers of the week, down around 9% on the week after reporting revenue and cloud growth for its most recent quarter that fell short of analyst expectations. Multiple analysts cut their price targets on the stock in response to the report. And Broadcom shares soared to a new 52-week high this week. The stock saw a boost from Citigroup reinstating its coverage with a buy rating and the company's announcement of a partnership with Caltech, which aims to develop quantum science and research discoveries. Let's look at what to watch for next week. On Tuesday, we'll see data including building permits. Wednesday, we'll have existing home sales, followed by GDP and jobless claims on Thursday, and closing out the week on Friday with durable goods, PCE, and new home sales. When it comes to earnings, Tuesday, we'll hear from FedEx. Wednesday, we'll see General Mills and Micron. And finally, Thursday, we'll hear from Carnival and Nike after the close. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Renita Young, and remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.